My name is Scott Higgins. I'm a professor of film at Wesleyan University, and I'm the director of the College of Film and the Moving Image here at Wesleyan. And uh, I want to say a few things about using film in the classroom and how it works and, and what it means for students. The thing I think that is most important when showing a student or a class a film is to realize how much is there in the movie and how little we can actually make of it in, in the classroom. Films are, are incredibly perceptually rich uh, materials. There are thousands of details every second coming at us in a film. And we are using it, if we're not teaching film itself, to illustrate a point or to illustrate an idea in class. Uh, just realizing that that thing you brought into the classroom is full of ideas and motion and movement and light and energy is important because your job, our job, is to channel all of that information into one particular area and to be honest to the film as a whole. So I always am careful and, and, and concerned about reducing a film to whatever preconceived idea I was going to teach and forgetting the experience students have when, when they watch when they watch a movie. People who don't like movies often think of film going as a passive passive experience. So reading a book is, is somehow active but film, because it's entertaining, it's, it's passive and we're not doing any work. And this, I think, is completely false. Watching a film is a tremendously complex, cognitive, emotional, and even, even visceral experience and perceptual experience. It's just that we do it so well. Like, we are trained and we know how to watch movies. So it's as though we're watching a story unfold in front of us. My job in the classroom is to get students to put a pause on that process and recognize what it's like to watch a movie. To, as they're watching a film, understand their relationship moment by moment to that movie. Instead of focusing on the final point of the film was this, this is the lesson that we've got to learn. Think about what the art and the artist has done to bring you there, to move you through a series of emotions to get to that point. And what the artist has are basic tools, editing, shot scale, camera movement, staging, lighting, um, just control of the image within the frame and control of sound. So for me, teaching film is often about getting students to see something that they've gotten used to. It's very familiar to them, movies, film, storytelling, but to see it in a new light and to see all those things that make them have a reaction as deliberate decisions and choices on the part of an artist. And once they've done that, then they can hopefully begin making films on their own. They know quite a lot already, but they don't really know what they know. Here's my idea of what a filmmaker does and what a film does, and art generally. I think art is about controlling and sharing perceptions. And in film, it's really about sharing another way of seeing the world and feeling the world. I think the great filmmakers have a way of viewing life and the world, and when we go to their films, through the art that they're, that they're practicing, we, if it works, are in sync with a new way, a new way of processing things, a new way of understanding things, a new rhythm of, of, of thought. That, I think, is like the ultimate achievement in the humanities, to get somebody to see the world from a different perspective. Viewing a film, then, becomes about empathy. It is about allowing yourself to open up to something outside of you and to take that film on its own terms, to um, reach halfway between your seat in the audience and the filmmaker and accept that way of viewing, viewing the world. It's a valuable lesson for our students then to see films that are made outside of their culture, to see films that are um, from foreign cultures, um, in, in my case, not mainstream American films, or historical films, films that were made 
you know, at least a decade ago, which is, it seems to be my current, my current students have about a decade worth of visual vocabulary. To take them back to the 1930s, 1920s, 19 teens, back to 1895, and get them to commune with the image and get them to have empathy for that way of seeing the world gets them to think outside of their current context. The lesson that I hope to give them is that we are not the end of history. <laughs> the movies that we see, we tend to feel superior about because they're familiar. Technology has changed. We look at movies and we think, oh, well, this one has surround sound and it's in color and it's an action film and that plays a game that I'm familiar with. Therefore, it's better than a film that was made in 1950, 1940, 1930. By studying film history, also by studying films from other cultures, you realize you're not the end point of history. You're part of a chain. And that the audiences who saw that film in 1930 were no less complex than you are today. Maybe more complex than, than we are. Recognize that what we are doing, what we are seeing in film is defined by where we are in history and it will change and and that our moment and what film can do is capture a moment in time our moment is just passing if you can understand that moment by empathizing with the film from the past then you'll better be able to to understand your moment today and think forward and find new solutions to storytelling problems Go to the past to, to, to change the way people see things today. These are some of the things I think about when I bring film into the classroom. The, the main thing is to see film as a very rich perceptual text that will take the viewer to another place. It's a window, but it's a window that we're asking our students to be aware of, not to just expect that that's the way things are. They can understand the choices that were made to create that film, and then hopefully they can understand their own place in history and know that it's not the only way of seeing the world. There are other ways, and if they're a young student, hopefully they'll spend the rest of their career creating a new way to see the world and sharing it with others.